Back in 2018, the great Bobby Caldwell joined us to perform his classic hit, What You Won't Do For Love. He was one of the most successful pop and R&B singer-songwriters of all time. And just happened to be one of our very favorite musical segments to have him here. He also wrote songs for many artists, including Boz Skaggs, Neil Diamond, Al Jarreau, Roberta Flack, the band Chicago, Natalie Cole, and the number one hit, The Next Time I Fall. He wrote that for Amy Grant and Peter Cetera. Tragically, last March, Bobby passed away, but his musical legacy lives on guided by his wife and longtime music business partner, Mary, as well as his daughter, Katie. Here to help us celebrate Bobby Caldwell's remarkable life and unforgettable music, please welcome Mary Caldwell and Katie Moriarty. Ar Ma Mor Ar Moriarty. I know, I know how to do it, Moriarty. It's so good to have both of you here. It's great to be here. Broke our hearts when Bobby passed away and I can't even imagine the grief that you guys have gone through. But it has to make you feel good that there's continuous love and outpouring of appreciation for Bobby's life and his career. It does. In fact, when he passed, um, it was March 14th, and the next morning, I just posted a little Twitter blurb, you know, that he had passed, and I could not believe mm -hmm. Every media outlet in the country and even around the globe acknowledged, you know, paid tribute to him. So. But so many people in the music industry, I mean, they have used his material, done the music that he wrote. A lot of people probably didn't even realize that Bobby Caldwell was the writer of so many of the songs that they grew up listening to. Uh, they certainly knew him for his own work, but... You know, he had such a prolific talent of writing songs that other artists, the top artists in the world, would take and, and record. That has to make you feel good. You're driving down the road, you listen to the radio, and all of a sudden one of his songs comes up. Oh, yeah, that happens daily. Yeah. It's really comforting, you know. Katie, you and your mom have spent a lot of Bobby's last uh, year or so of life putting aside a lot of your own personal things to take care of him and to... Uh, you know, to make sure that he was surrounded by family and by love. But yet that must have been a hard time for you to say, you know, I'm just going to focus on my dad and, and spend that time. Yeah, it was, uh, it was really difficult, you know. Um, he had a lot of health issues going on, but you, you always look back and you think of the great memories. And no matter what, we would all sit around the TV, watch some of our favorite shows, and he would always tune my guitar for me. And I swear no one will tune it better than, than the way he did. So well, definitely miss him a lot. You know, I think that having Bobby Caldwell tune your guitar would be a pretty cool thing. And I'm pretty positive it would always be in tune and the right way. Oh, uh, do you have a favorite song, Mary, of, of all he did? I mean, he's got such a huge catalog of, of songs. But what is the favorite of yours? It depends on the category, but really an unknown song called Never Take a Chance. Never Take a Chance. There, there's a ton of songs yeah. that literally have never been heard. But of course I've heard them all. Will you try to make sure that those songs get out into the marketplace and into the hands of an artist? We're trying. It's a tall order, but um, any artist out there want to cover a song? I think, do it. you know what? I can't imagine that somebody would not want to take one of the Bobby Caldwell written songs and make a hit out of it, which would be pretty solid well, to do. Well, you know, a lot of the rap artists, believe it or not, um, breathe life into some of his songs. Yeah, no, I Tupac, don't doubt that. Biggie Smalls, yeah. Common, yeah. All my, those are all my peeps, you know, <laughs> people I hang out with. Well, man, while we get ready to set up this salute to the fantastic music of Bobby Caldwell, I want you to tell our viewers where they can learn more about his music, his life, and his legacy. Sure thing, Governor. To learn more about the great Bobby Caldwell, just follow the links over at Huckabee.tv. Now, here to perform a very special tribute to Bobby Caldwell, please show some love for Trey Corley and the Music City Connection. <laughs>
If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. 
If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.